Hey, Sagittarius, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Okay, so I have some love spreads I want to do for you guys. So we are going to do um, a general love first, and then singles, and then we'll do couples. So if you guys want to timestamp it, that would be awesome. So let's see. What is going on for the sign of Sagittarius? In the month of August for love. see what's going on with you guys. All right, guys, so the energy for this reading is the Knight of Cups in the reverse, okay? So with that being the energy, either you or the person that you may be dealing with, they're just not being reliable right now, okay? They could be emotionally unstable. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse, too. With these two, you know, if, if I see one of them, I don't want to say that the person is being promiscuous. But when you see two of these together, um, you know, for the energy at the bottom of the deck, and there's definitely somebody who's juggling here, um, someone who has more than one person, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, that's why things aren't starting. That's why things aren't going forward. There's betrayal there. And someone could be doing it because they're just used to the situation. Um, you know, when you see the King of Pentacles in the reverse when it comes to love, that's somebody who's there out of convenience, not out of passion, okay? So in your past, there was a sort of loss that you felt. Um, but you're getting over this loss. You're like, okay, you know, I'm good. It didn't work out. Moving forward. And you had messages of love coming. Okay? Something that made you feel very good and abundant. Why is this five of cups here in the reverse? Yeah, so you're getting over something that you felt was a betrayal in the past. Something that hurt you. But, you know, the worst is behind you. Okay? And... You know, when that happened, you're just in a situation where it's like, you know, I don't like this path that I've been on. I want to do something different. I want something more exciting. I want something that's going to be more lucrative for me in terms of love and feelings and emotions. Okay. Now, let's see. What is this page of cups about? So, you're getting messages from someone, and this is unexpected for you guys. Okay. With that sun card there, it could have been a wheel or a water sign. Okay, but let's not focus too much on science. It's more just what this person is doing for you. So someone coming in, it was unexpected. And something, while this was happening, there was somebody here who was acting up in a sense with that king of swords in the reverse. Now, the king of swords in the reverse is someone who is just very, um, they don't have the best temperament. Okay, this is someone that is just self-seeking, somebody who's quick to just shut you down and, just say awful things to you and not think about things before it's being said. So it's somebody who's a little tough to be around, okay? But you're feeling good about this. Okay, yeah, there's a new start for you, for sure. Someone gets cut off, but there's a new start for you. So maybe the fact that someone unexpected came in, maybe you had more than one person that you were talking to. You know, I have to say it with the energy that you guys have. But you could have been talking to someone and maybe when this unexpected person popped up, the other person just went apeshit, okay? Or this could be vice versa. You could have been talking to someone else and they, you know, deaded you for somebody who, you know, they didn't see coming, okay? But I do think that it was you guys who just started talking to someone unexpected. Maybe you have to leave someone behind in order to do so because there's good things happening for you, but there's someone who's getting cut off in the process, all right? Now, in your present moment, you're standing your ground with this, but you may still be, you know, in your mind about, like, did I make the right decision? Was this person better than that person? That sort of feel. And there's something that's completing so that something new can start. Okay. You're standing your ground with this new situation that's coming in. You're happy about it. Okay. Okay. But again, it's so funny because it's like you guys, you know, are finding happiness, but when happiness comes, so does arguments. 
So I, I don't feel it's coming from the same person for all of you. I feel that you moved on from a situation and might have left someone behind and they are just not happy to see you happy. Okay? Why is this two of pentacles here? And that's probably why the two of pentacles is there. You're like, shit, well, did I make the right choice? Because, you know, do they have a right to be upset the way that they are? And you're in a place now that although, you know, you might be juggling this in your head, you are building the stability with somebody else. And with this uh, emperor here, you've gone through your shit. You know, you know what's good for you. You know what's not good for you. And you're somebody now that can give advice to others. You know, I fucked up in this way. I know that that route doesn't work. Okay. Why is this world card here? Okay. Let's see. I think that you just make the judgment to walk away from this person in your past. I feel that you guys are just, you know, moving on from someone, going to somebody else. And just telling, you know, the person from the past, like, look, you know, looking back on the situation and everything that's happened, I don't think it's best for us to be together, no hard feelings, like, let's just, you know, let go and let God, sort of thing. But you may be having a hard time moving away from them, okay? And that might be why the King of uh, Wands shows up in the future for you guys. Because, you know, this is somebody who is unreliable in the sense of love. Someone who may be talking to more than one person. This is somebody who likes having, you know, brief romances, holiday affairs, that sort of thing. And with the Knight of Swords, it could be, you know, an air energy that you're talking to. Or it could just be you cutting the shit out. Or somebody else, you know, approaching you and saying, look, I, I don't want to, I don't want anything to do with this. Okay, so let's see. You feel burdened by the fact that you have to move away from somebody, okay? And you feel a little lost. So I feel that there's something good, but you have the past whispering in your ear, making you second-guess yourself, okay? And you might, you or the person you're talking to, but, you know, with the King of Wands, it may be you. It's like you're unhappy with the situation, which might be why you step out. And with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse... It's like, this is a very uh, strong energy. Somebody who kind of, like, it, they drain your energy. They take from you. This is somebody who just expects the world handed to them. So it could be you moving away from that person, you acting in this way, you dealing with someone who's acting this way, okay? It can go either way. Now with this Knight of Swords, let's see what this is about. Okay. So... There's a change with someone else that you're talking to, and you feel like things just get out of control once this happens, and I do feel that it's you guys taking that Knight of Swords energy and just saying, you know what, this is some shit that I just have to cut out. Okay, so definitely decisions for y'all to make. All right, what is going on? Where's my Sagittarius? A couple of weeks. I mean, thank you, singles. Singles. Sagittarius singles. What is happening for Sagittarius singles for... The month of August. Page of Wands in the reverse. So there could be someone that you want to talk to or someone trying to talk to you and you, it may not be uh, received well. Alright, All right, guys, let's see what's going on. Okay, so the energy for this is the Hermit card in the reverse. So you guys may have been in a situation where it's like um, you're, you're coming out of this place of stagnation, of just kind of being withdrawn a little bit, just being pensive over your life, your love life, what's going on with you. But you could still feel that you have unfinished business with someone, someone that you may have considered a soulmate or someone that you had a strong connection with that you may have rejected for whatever reason or they may have rejected you, Okay. So your thoughts still might be on the past, but you are slowly getting up and moving forward from that situation. Now, in the past, we have the six of pentacles in the reverse where there's an imbalance. Uh, you could be giving too much to a situation where somebody wasn't giving anything to you or vice versa. Eight of swords in the reverse. You're getting out of your head about it. You don't want to be focused on it, and you're dropping the ball on the situation. Okay? Moving forward from that situation. But let's see how this plays out. Let's clarify this. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Okay. 
So this may have been something that you were trying to manifest in the past and, you know, there was an imbalance to the effort being put in. And this other person just switched the fuck up on you. Okay? Okay? And I felt that you, I feel that you guys chose to move forward from the situation because it was unstable. You were unhappy. And although this may have been a loss where the person just switched up on you, I think it was a really, really good thing for you. Um, I think that moving away from that situation or maybe even going towards that situation was a good choice, whichever way it happened for you. But I do see you guys moving away from that situation. Why is this two of pentacles here? Okay. So you're being balanced about this, but I do still feel that in the past you're still a little bothered with that Three of Swords in the reverse there. I'll get one more card to clarify. But with Three of Swords in the reverse, it's kind of like being in denial um, about the end of something. Or you can just be telling people like, no, no, I'm good, I'm good, I don't give a fuck about that person. But like late at night, you're up and you're thinking about them. Okay? And I think that you just choose to be happy and balanced. You know? And although you might still be upset about whatever happened in the past, you know, you know what? I can't control anybody else but myself. So why am I going to be upset over somebody else's decisions or actions? Now, in the present moment, you guys have the four of wands in the reverse where things may be a little bit unstable, you know, in terms of love right now. And with the emperor in the reverse, you could be dealing with somebody who's fake or you yourself could be acting fake towards somebody. With the king of pentacles in the reverse, you have to ask yourself, is this something you even want to engage yourself with? Because with the king of pentacles in the reverse, it's either you or this other person who is just... Um, they're not about it. This is somebody who talks to you out of convenience. This is somebody who talks to you because they have no one else to talk to or because, uh, you know, they need a shoulder to cry on or they just don't want to be alone. So whether it's you or whether it's that person, you have to be aware of that. And, you know, is that something that you want? Do you just want to be somebody's, you know, right now? Okay. And it's like the moment they find something better, they're out. Okay. So things are unstable right now with you guys, and you could be wanting to find another approach in terms of love just in general. Maybe you want to approach this person in a different way if you are talking to someone. If you're not talking to anyone, you're like, you know, maybe I'm doing something that's not attracting people. So what can I do to, you know, what can I do to change myself in a positive way so that I attract, you know, more love to come my way? But with the Ten of Pentacles, there overall is a good feeling. You could be having, like, a lot of good money coming in right now, but... It's like there's like stagnation on moving forward. You feel good, but there's nothing really solid developing. Why is this emperor in the reverse here? Okay. All right. So we have someone who's being fake here, but I feel like justice may be uh, served with this person, or this could be a karmic situation because you have one person here who's extremely loving, you know, very, very tender, and then you have someone who's kind of like taking advantage of that. And maybe this is where, you know, karma pops in. Let me get one more card here. There's a victory that you're feeling here. Okay, it could be you guys, you know, possibly talking to a water sign. But there's someone who's being fake here, but you feel good, though. So this could be you. Um, I don't want to say manipulating. This could be you kind of selling a dream to the other person, although you know that you have nothing to sell. Or this could be the other person selling a dream to you, and, and you paid for this dream, and now the dream's not there. So you're feeling victorious here, but be careful. Make sure that the other person's being, you know, as honest as what they say. If you feel, like, in your gut that there's something that's a little off, you may want to listen to that. Um, or this could be you not being honest with somebody, but getting what you want from them. It could go either way. Why is this King of Pentacles in the reverse? Yeah. Someone is here just out of convenience, guys. You have someone here who feels lost. You have someone here that just doesn't want to fight, doesn't want to argue. So there's somebody in your life just for convenience right now. Or you're having them in your life because it's convenient for you. But in the future, you are moving away from the situation. You stop working on it. You stop investing your time in it. But you still feel that you have unfinished business. Yeah, you're cutting things out. You just don't want to deal with it and you're moving away. You're not trying to stress it no more.
and someone's going to be extremely unhappy that this isn't happening anymore. Okay, whether it's you or this other person, they're just going to be very unhappy or you're going to be very unhappy. But somebody's moving away and choosing not to stress themselves out with the situation no more. And the other person, um, you know, is going to be upset about it. Okay. Yeah, we have two energies here. We have the world card and then we have the death card in the reverse and the five of cups in the reverse. So I think that this is you guys getting over the situation and saying, you know, I'm done. This is over. Like, I'm just not doing this anymore. But with uh, death card in the reverse, you might deep down still feel like you love the person and still feel like you're emotionally still there or that you still care for them. Or it could be them because there are conflicting views here. You know, when, when there's a happy card, there's a sad card next to it. So I feel that, you know, that's the energy of both people involved. So it could be the other person holding on while you are completely letting go or vice versa, them completely letting go and you still feeling like there's something there. Okay. Hey, bud. Okay. What is going on with Sagittarius? Couple. Hi, honey. What is going on with Sagittarius? Couple? So the energy for this is the five of wands, okay? Petty arguments, people going back and forth about stupid shit. Um, just not seeing eye to eye with people, feeling like there might be competition in a situation. And there's a new start that you're wanting here, okay? Or this could be you just trying to cut shit out with your partner. We do have the king of wands, though, and the sun card, okay? So good things happening. You know, just I don't see the arguing as anything too heavy. I, I just think it's like petty arguments. And with the higher font... Sorry, with the higher font behind all of this, you know, you could be wanting to take things to the next level. So um, you could just be recently getting into this relationship, or you could be asking for an engagement, or you could be moving to marriage, okay? Now let's see how this plays out. All right, so in the past, there's clarity that was seen in a situation, and somebody may have gotten caught in a third party situation, okay? Why is the Seven of Cups here in the reverse? Okay. You're seeing clarity to a situation. You might have felt that it was a waste of time. And there might have been a breakup or a fallout with somebody here. Okay. Why is this Three of Cups here? Yeah, there could have been a third party affair. Or, um, you know, messages of love coming in for you. But with the moon card in the reverse, everything is out. Um, you know, with the moon card in the reverse, usually all the knowledge is already known. And it's kind of like that healing after knowing everything that's going on. But with the seven of swords, I think that it was someone getting caught talking to somebody else. Okay, possibly a water sign that you guys were dealing with. But with this you're able to have a new start or think about having a new start here with the full card. Now in the present moment, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups in the reverse. It's that fucking retrograde, guys, I'm telling you. So there's something that you may want to be starting or something that somebody else may want with you, with your partner, but I feel that right now somebody's just really upset possibly about this third-party situation, and they're just not talking to you right now. Or they may say, you know, this is over, I don't want to be with you anymore. But I see someone who's not feeling emotionally fulfilled right now, somebody who's fighting for a start, and it's not happening. And the other person switched up on you. It could be the other person saying, you know what, I'm looking at the situation, and my judgment is to not fucking do it. 
Okay. And now, you know, there's a rejection happening here. And, you know, it could be you guys who are still very passionate about this. You know, with the Knight of Wands there. But someone's extremely guarded right now. Okay. So for this Ace of Cups in the reverse, you know, somebody not feeling emotionally fulfilled, there's a lot of uh, direct communication happening here, but somebody could be immature about the communication. You know, this is someone who's kind of like, fuck you. They don't give a fuck what they're saying. They're not thinking about what they're saying. They're just, whatever's on their mind, they're just telling you. Even if it's something that's going to make you go into a corner and cry for days, like, they don't care. And it could be you acting this way towards somebody or someone acting this way towards you. And there's one, per like, it's one person here who's still trying to bring on the passion. So, you know, I'm not taking sides here, but for the majority watching this, I feel that it's you who may have stepped out. Because it's you trying to show passion and you trying to talk because we have, you know, these wands here. Uh, but it's like the other person isn't being receptive to you right now. And, you know, there's huge burden here. And you're in a place that you just don't want to fight anymore with the situation. Now moving forward, there's heartbreak here. You feel unbalanced and there could be unhappiness that you feel with the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Okay, well, I'll take these two. Yeah, so you're heartbroken, and it's like you're realizing this might not be a path that you can go on anymore. You feel lost right now. You feel like things are extremely unstable. Okay. Why is this temperance card here? No, first. It's like you don't know how to move forward with the situation, and there could be a fallout here. Okay. Yeah, there could be a breakup. Because it shows that you guys stopped working on this. And that with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, there's no movement for. It's like even if it's something that you're trying to manifest, the way that you've been trying to go about it in the past isn't working for you. It's not feasible for you no more. Okay. So, yeah, I definitely, for some couples here, I do see a breakup. For sure. Or at least somebody who's being extremely stubborn and just not ready to... Uh, move forward from this third party situation or from whatever came out in the past okay so I love you guys so much and I will be back in a few days for some more readings and for anyone who needs a personal reading I'll be you know just working the next few days so you guys let me know take care